Hello, it is Thursday, January 4th, and it is about 1130 in the morning. Uh, so the morning sale has wrapped up. I've got the table all organized so we can talk about what's sold, what is still available. Um, mail for today. Yeah, talk a little bit about the mail. Uh, if you saw yesterday's vlog, you saw that I had the yucky mail carrier who does not pick up, who lies and says that they picked up more packages than I requested to have picked up, even though they picked up zero. Yeah, I still don't quite understand that. Um, but I requested two packages to be picked up yesterday. Um, during my sale, where I am sitting right next to the doorbell, I had my phone with me. If they had rung the doorbell, I would have seen it. I would have heard it. Um, but they did not. But I got an email during the sale that said that they had successfully completed my pickup. And even though I requested two packages be picked up, I noticed the email confirmation from USPS said that they picked up four packages. So not only is the mail carrier not picking up, but they are lying and saying that they are picking up more packages than I requested. Yeah, good job, USPS. I know it's tough hiring good people out there, but you know what? You don't have to put them on my route. You can go put them on someone else's route. And I pretty much told them that. <laughs> Whether that'll do anything or not, but I did put in caps, I do not want this mail carrier on my route anymore. Put him on someone else's route. Yeah. I'm, I'm done. Um, so fingers crossed. I've requested pickup today. I have a couple more packages. I'm going to go upstairs. As soon as I get done with this part of the vlog, I'm going to go upstairs, get those packages ready to go out. And then I'll show you the stack, which was actually four packages <laughs> by the time I got done. Um, but we'll now be six. It'll now be six. Um, all right. <laughs> so Morning rant done. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's like, please, please don't make me go back to having to take my packages to the post office myself. I really don't want to. I just don't want to waste, you know, a half hour plus a day to get that done. But we'll see how January goes. We'll see. If it continues to be sucky, then I might just have to look at my schedule and figure out one, paying for gas and two, um, finding the time to, to get that done and take the packages myself. So, um, I'll keep you posted on what's going on, but you know, the fun things that you think about deal with and stuff as a stay at home reseller. Yep. Um, let's see. For the sale today, I thought I had counted out 50 items. I thought I had counted it a couple of times just to be sure, but I ended up with 49. <laughs> 49, 50, so close, so close. I sold 28 of the 49 items, which means 21 of them are still available. So let me flip the camera around and we'll take a look at those items. All right, so the items still available. I will tell you the price. I will tell you, uh, like for rings, the sizes and things. Um, if you have questions on any of these items though, feel free to put those in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, and if you want to purchase anything, please let me know. Ooh, <laughs> I just sucked in a little air. Ah. Uh, please let me know in the comments and I will confirm back and I will put your name on those items. All right. So 21 items. We are going to start with this pair of earrings. 
They are lever back earrings, kind of in a smoky gray colored rhinestone, set in gold tone. Uh, those are just one dollar. I have this little black, um, like a small cosmetic bag, maybe a money pouch, maybe just a pouch you want to use to keep things organized in your handbag. Um, the outside is either leather or a vegan leather. The inside, ooh, I should have left that unzipped. Uh, the inside is a really nice nylon that can be easily wiped down. That's going to be really hard to see because it's black, but very easy to wipe that down. Uh, that is $1. <clears throat> uh, a couple of books. Um, a few of these are by an author named Maeve Binchy. She is an Irish author. And um, one of her most famous books, which you may have seen the movie called Circle of Friends, I believe that had uh, Minnie Driver as the star of that one. Um, this one takes place in a Greek seaside village with a bunch of people getting to know each other. Um, very slice of life kind of stories. Uh, this one is $1 for Nights of Rain and Stars. I know I'm trying to trying to semi go in in order on my sheet here, um, but Circle of Friends that is also one dollar. Uh, this book by Dean Koontz, uh, Strangers. This one was also made into a movie. He's very Stephen King like, and that one is one dollar. You can't quite see. Oh, there you go. Now you can see. There's there's people. There's people in there. Uh, this one, another Maeve Binchy called Quintin's, and that is a about a restaurant. Um, a couple of Dilbert books. This one is Thriving in stu thr <laughs> Thriving on Stupidity in the 21st Century. Uh, that one is one dollar. The uh, Dilbert Principle. A cubicle's eye view of bosses, meetings, management fads, and other workplace afflictions. That is one dollar. Uh, ben Bova's Mars. He is a Hugo Award winning author, and it is about the first manned exposition to Mars. And then I have... Homer's Odyssey and the Iliad, and that is $2 for the paperbacks. All right, so those are the books. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at some more of the jewelry. Okay, I'm just going down my little list here to make sure I got everything. Okay, uh, next up is the bracelet. This is an eight inch bracelet, but it can actually be extended longer. So here is the extender on it. So it could also be an a anklet. So a bracelet or an anklet, silver tone, and it has this beautiful rose on it. Uh, that is $2. This clear bead necklace, there is no clasp on it. It is 32 inches. Um, it starts off with smaller beads, and then as you get towards the, the center, you get these larger beads mixed in. So that was 32 inches, and that is $3. Uh, this gold tone ring, which is adjustable larger, it is currently at an eight and a quarter. It has a beautiful red center and then side clear. So this is an eight and a quarter, three dollars. Uh, this silver tone ring, ooh, there we go. It has a, that is hard to see. There, there's the light, maybe. Oh my goodness, 
here let's try it let's try it with the floor as the background there we go uh, it does have cutouts on the sides it has a center round followed by a square row of clear this ring is ooh, what size is it an eight and three quarters and that is three dollars Okay, the pewter items. Um, I have a feeling these used to have brooch backs on them, but they no longer do. There is a spot of glue on the back, but no, no brooch back. But you could easily glue it back on and have it be a brooch back. This one, however, I think somebody may have made it a brooch, but it does have little holes here. So you could string that on a necklace. This one looks like it's oranges. We've got a slice. Um, oh, this one. Ah, it's turned the other way. It's a half. There we go. It's a half. So I'm thinking oranges and maybe leaves. Um, it's made out of pewter. That is $4. This one has a little flower basket here and some flowers coming out of it. It is a uh, raw cliff. I'm not sure that's gonna focus on it. Raw cliff pewter made in USA, dated 1997. And that one is $4. This one has a pineapple, grapes, and some flowers and leaves. It is also a Rawcliffe pewter made in USA, dated 1997, and that one is $4. And then this one does not have a name on it, but it does have a number. It looks like a flower bouquet. A ribbon down here tied in a bow, and then flowers coming out. It has a number... W2829 on the back. And that one is $4. Uh, the rose quartz and bead, there's a couple beads in here also. Uh, this one is 34 inches. It does have a clasp. Um, beautiful rose quartz. Again, that's 34 inches and that is $5. Uh, this ring is an 18 karat gold plated beautiful blue center and lots of clear rhinestones around it uh, this one is a very generous nine and a quarter size 18 karat gold plated nine and a quarter size and that is eight dollars and then the last item is this Dante Genuine Tiger's Eye Cufflink and Tie Clip Set. Um, this is a very fancy cufflink set. And then here is the pin back for the tie clip in a great um, gift box, all ready to go, Father's Day graduation gift. Uh, that is $10. And those are the 21 items that are still available after the morning sale. Um, all right, I'm going to come over here and we're going to show the items that are uh, that sold during the sale. Um, oh, I was going to grab my black light. There we go. Because a couple of these items um, were very reactive. So the butterfly um, enamel, very reactive to the black light. Isn't that fun? And the other item was this one. So not the center stone, but all of the others. Look how fun that is when they are reactive to the black light. I think that is it though. I'll, I'll double check. Let's see. I believe, and oh yeah, and then a lot of times um, 
be like white beads like that will will react also uh, but yes we have the butterfly necklace we've got a pair of clip-on earrings these really pretty bead like um a b bead a bracelet a couple of rings um, these two were sterling those were sterling rings some bracelets these were actually um, just like the rose one could be converted into an anklet uh, this was an um, abalone bracelet a beautiful rose gold ring a couple of these gold tone necklaces a black bead black and clear bead necklace a black bead uh, bracelet that has a rose made out of beads. Ooh, that is gonna be hard to see. Let's get it over here and see if that helps at all. A little bit, you can see that pretty rose. Uh, this is a shell bracelet. And then some of the books that sold, cat book, a Hallmark book, some um, game uh, books a handbag a couple of clinique bags an escher book and another cat book um all right i'm gonna flip the camera back around okay so i am now gonna go ahead and do postage next make sure i get the postage done in case i get the mail carrier here real soon <laughs> it's getting close to noon and i like to have my postage done by noon just so it's ready to go if the mail carrier gets here uh, so I'm going to go do that first, and then we'll talk about the mail, and then I'll let you know kind of what's going on with the table and the rest of my day. All right, it is about a quarter after 12, and I've got um, my two additional packages done. I'm going to over. So uh, here are the four packages from yesterday. The two additional ones I added on top there today, and... Fingers crossed, my mail carrier comes and picks them up. All right, I am going to uh, work in the um, back there where I do my sales and um, organize the table, get that all cleared off. The um, still available items are going to hang around down here. So in case someone is interested, I can grab it real easily. The solds are going upstairs because that's where I'm going to be heading as soon as I get that organized. I also am going to be having a sale tomorrow morning. So I need to look around and see what I'm going to be bringing to the sale. And... Um, if I find something also that I'm going to pull for the Friday evening sale, I'm going to get that organized and kind of prepped on that also. Um, yeah, that is what I'm going to be doing. Um, otherwise, unless um, some other things sell or something else happens, um, this is probably going to actually wrap it up for the vlog today. And I, um, yeah, I'm going to, it's kind of an icky rainy day. So it's a great day to stay inside and pack an invoice, which is what I'm going to be spending most of today doing. As soon as I have some lunch, <laughs> that will definitely be next on the list. My lunch, the cat's lunch, uh, will get, get us all fed and then head upstairs. Um, but thank you so much for watching. I will see you tomorrow.